surprise if you could go back and quickly respawn and we can use them as a Spartan shield. I like it! <laughs> Hello chaps, Harry Badger here. This is the first of a two-part video of the 2020 Halloween special night game that was taken at the Gunman Airsoft site in Tuttenham, Suffolk. Most of the footage for this video was shot using a modified 20 quid action camera. If you haven't seen the video on how I did the night vision camera mod, then check out the link in the description. Whilst the footage is no 4K and I forgot to run a separate microphone, oh, and the infrared torch gave a tunneling effect, at least we were able to see some of what was going on on that dark and spooky night. The first game is a King of the Hill style game. There are two team coloured flags in the centre objective at the tyre fort in the middle of the scrubland. The team with their flag up at the end of the game wins. One team spawns from the squash court and our team were spawning from the cops. We have been briefed and warned that there are some hazardous NPCs, which are non-player characters, in the play area. As the game starts, rather than pushing straight up the middle, I started off heading right of the tyre fort objective. I hoped to swing out far enough to flank the enemy team. I was joined by a teammate with the same idea and we quietly snuck out. At night games, everyone is a little bit jumpy and on edge, including me, and enemy identification can be tricky. The first two players I see, I take them both out with a double tap. But thinking about this afterwards, and to be honest, I may have actually taken out my own team. I should have called my team colour before shooting at them, so it's my bad really. So after a little bit more of pushing forward, my teammate gets taken out. I also get taken out. I initially thought it was just one guy who was a little bit trigger happy with the overkill, but it turned out to be a few guys who all lit me up at the same time. Karma, I guess. I headed back to the spawn point, and as I arrived, I ran into these scary characters that were lurking around. Oh, Jesus Christ. It seems like these Vikings won't actually attack you if you're already dead. Back to the spawn point again and there's another scary character. Pretty sure this one's one of the marshals. As I head back out into the action there's a guy camping just outside our spawn. He simply shines a flashlight at me and says bang. Cheeky, but I was happy I wasn't lit up with BBs. Well at least I know where he is now. Right. However, he was sensible enough to relocate and retreat back into the scrub. Couldn't find him though. A little later I found myself crawling through the bushes on my hands and knees with another teammate. We hear the Vikings up ahead. We try and be quiet but we're taken out. We learn that the Vikings seem to have a thing about somebody called Derek. We headed back down to the spawn point and when we arrived, well, it looks like the Vikings had come back with us. These comical Vikings turned out to be quite friendly, and they're only interested in finding Derek. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you go because these guys, these guys think you're Derek and they're going to follow you. <laughs> it's Derek. That's Derek. That's Derek. Derek, your red light's on. My teammate Sasquatch was running a little digital nightscope on his AEG. Seems like the Vikings have found their Derek. We're hanging back to see what happens. It appears that the Vikings are being very protective over their Derek and have formed a Spartan wall in front of him with their shields. Yeah. Well, are we going with the Spartan wall, are we? Yeah. We decide, along with a few others, to join them. <laughs> Guys, if you can go back and quickly respawn, uh, we can use them as a Spartan shield. After our teammates had respawned, our protective Viking wall advances towards the tyre forts with everyone tucking in behind. We're just about in range of the tyre for objective and we open up on anything that moves. Spurred on by our newfound friends as we press en masse up towards the tyre fort. A few of us break right and spread out along the wall. The enemy tries to hold us off, and I get taken out. Hit! 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 
Switching over to the Sasquatch night vision scope cam now, he remarkably spots somebody under a distant tree and picks them off. Well done, mate. My team does a marvellous push into the tyre fort, takes down the enemy flag and raises our very own team flag just in time for the end of the game. So that's it for part one. I'll soon be releasing the second part of this video which sees some spooky and downright disturbing scenes from the Gunman Halloween special. Click subscribe and watch this space for the next and last instalment. This is Harry Badger signing off.